Hey there, Floss Tube. This is Kathy, the hands on designer. I'm coming at you from a new location, and you're probably going, Is she in her laundry room? Yes, she is in her laundry room. <laughs> um, at the last video, which I shot just after market, um, I told you I'd probably be coming from a new location next time. Um, so we finally got moved and we're in our new home. Um, I've actually spent the last two days over at the old house getting it ready. Finally, it should be going up for sale on Monday. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. But, um, but yeah, so I wanted to come to you. I've, I've posted a lot of pictures of just, just some different aspects of my laundry room and people are like, I want to see your laundry room. So I thought, okay, I'll do the first one from the laundry room. Plus then I get to talk to you about the newest release in my laundry company series. So kind of appropriate. But we'll do a little tour first, if that's okay with you. Um, my laundry room is actually at the front of the house. So um, I'm gonna pick the camera up. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this um, without making everybody dizzy. Um, so let's go here. Um, this is actually this is actually a barn door. Um, I'll, I'll show it, where's the handle? <laughs> I'm not doing a very good Vanna. Okay, so the laundry room is actually at the front of the house, so if you sneak peek out, that's my front door right there. Um, so I thought, well, if somebody comes and um, my laundry room's kind of messy, I want a really pretty door to, um, to hide it all. Isn't that cool? Um, a gal in uh, Florida made this, and each board, it's, it's reclaimed barn wood, barn wood, and then each one was um, planed down and then stained different colors. So, um, and then I had some fun cabinets put in. These are actually the cabinets that um, I used in pretty much the entire house, kitchen, everywhere. Um, but they had, I wanted a custom color, um, but, Every time you throw the word, let me say custom on anything. Whew. So we they're they're showing up much lighter in the in the picture than they actually are. Um, so uh, they're a, a really cool bottle green color. So um, new washer dryer. And this is I have long I <laughs> know this is goofy. I have always wanted a good soaking sink in i'm trying to find it here in in my um with my my laundry area i just i thought wouldn't that have been great when my kids were little um this is a, a pocket door when it opens actually goes to um our master closet so it's super convenient um that i can you know do laundry and then you know put it away right there so yay um, and then we have this whole uh folding station um i had built to kind of match and then they painted it the green of the cabinets um, so uh, I could have my laundry baskets there and a little folding area and tuck a, an ironing board and some other stuff in there so and then this is what everybody always says oh your floor look at it and see my, my my toesies it's actually finally getting warm out so um, fun tile floor because I kind of thought here we'll come back here and I'll stop the stop the madness going around um, but anyway, okay, there we go. Yeah, I watched Floss Tube and I saw a gal's laundry room. Um, anyway, so um, uh, I'll tell you a little, funny little story about the tile. Um, our contractor had sent us up to Sioux Falls. We live, well, we, now we live in the outskirts of Sioux City. Um, and our contractor said, go up to Sioux Falls and go check out, you know, this place, this place, this place, this place for... Um, uh, for appliances and for um, tile and for oh lighting and things like that. Well, he sent us to these places where let me tell you, whew, big dollar items and nothing. We, we didn't buy a thing there, but we got some really good ideas. I found this really cool Italian tile, handmade Italian tile that I just fell in love with and I really wanted for the laundry room, and. I did the math because I'm like, well, it's not a big room, but at 15 bucks a tile. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't happen. So we actually happened to be in Lowe's and not that I'm doing a commercial for Lowe's, but um, uh, we were picking out some of the other tile and Bill found this tile and he's like, that's kind of like what you were talking about. Um, at a buck 50 a tile. <laughs> So that's actually what we went with, um, and I like it. Um, it's 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 held up really well so far, and 
Um, and my, my contractor was even kind of excited about it. So it's fun to get those neat custom little touches, but you know you didn't necessarily spend a whole lot for it. So, um, plus, I, I, I jokingly, um, I did a, one of those stories on Instagram. I took some, I took some film in this room and put it up on one of those stories, you know, where it kind of plays on a loop for 24 hours. And I said, yeah, it was the room that inspired a series because, well, it kind of did. Um, it was maybe sort of a chicken and egg thing. Um, I got an email oh, over a year ago now from a stitcher who said, I love your stuff, you should do a lot, something about for the laundry room, I'm redoing my laundry room. And I thought, oh, okay, all right, you know. Then I got the second email and you should do a laundry, you, could you do something for the laundry room? Oh, okay, you know, all right. Um, and then the third email <laughs> came and, and all from different people, I'm assuming. Um, and she said, you know, I'm getting a new laundry room. It'd be really cool if you would do something for the laundry room. And I thought, well, I'm getting a new laundry room. And that's kind of when the idea started. And, um, you know, these things, unfortunately, just don't always happen overnight. So I knew that it was probably going to get slated for like a market kind of release. So um, we did the little mini series called The Laundry Company. And the first one was um, The Never Ending Cycle, which is Laundry, The Never Ending Cycle. And that came out at market and I showed that to you, like I think it was the last video or maybe the one before that. Um, so it's on my website, you can see a picture of it. So the second chart in the series just released, I literally went to the post office this morning and sent off all the first rounds of shipments. So the second one is called Loads of fun. Self-service, loads of fun. I had so much fun with this series. It was just really fun. Um, I, this one got the laundry company and it just kind of looked like a sign. And actually, um, once I designed this one, that's kind of when I got the idea to call the whole series the laundry company but each one would have its own individual title. So again, super simple finish, um, 32 count antique white Belfast, um, a minor, minor, minor back stitching. Um, and my back stitching really is more of like an embellishment, just to kind of, you know, a little punctuation. Um, so not, not a ton of it, but um, it's DMC, same color palette as the first one, and um, fits into a five by seven frame. This is an eight by 10 frame. And then I had matte board cut. Um, I picked out some matte board that went with the image colors in the piece. And then this is just a baker's twine. And then I hung, let me tell you, I hung the baker's twine first, then attached this, and then attached, it wasn't like, oh, if, if you try and hang the baker's twine and then, and then hang it, you're constantly adjusting. So I had, I kind of figured that one out pretty quickly. Um, and then I, there is a little piece of acid free double sided tape under this. So, you know, it doesn't really, you know, doesn't move a lot on you. Um, but anyway, so just a, a sweet little piece. Um, I have loved seeing the finishes that are, um, popping up on, on, on social media so far. A couple of gals have done old washboards, some vintage washboards and some new washboards. The new washboards, I think one gal said she found it on Amazon. Um, it would be cute on a basket or somebody, one of the gal did finish hers in this way. Just, you know, very clean, very, just, um, I don't know. Uh, I did see somebody change the colors and that was just, she did it more to match her, her room, which I think is perfect. So, um, it was kind of funny because I got an email this morning from a stitcher and I recognized her name from, you know, postings and whatnot. And she said, it's like you saw inside my laundry room. <laughs> I emailed her back. I said, I promise I have not seen inside your laundry room. <laughs> but um, so with each piece, um, if you'll remember, I did kind of like a little mystery stitch. So I'll make sure I do this right before I show you. Okay, I think I got it. So the word wash came in the um, first chart. And now with this chart, we're getting the were dry okay so i do give the dimensions for the whole piece if you choose to finish it that way or to stitch it this way um but so that's the next word any guesses as to what you think the 
Am I covering it? I can't. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see. Um, but anyway, so any guesses as to what that last word's going to be? Mm -hmm. But um, this piece, now my other pieces will travel on trunk shows and things like that. But this piece was actually the piece that I, I really did because I thought this will hang in my laundry room. Um, so anyway, so there you go. That's your little bonus. So the, the thing there was you need to purchase all three charts um, to collect the three pieces to stitch the mystery piece. Um, anyway, so uh, I am really looking forward to um, hanging this one. You'll notice behind me there's a, a shelf there. Am I getting it right? Um, I, I don't have a lot of wall space in this house. It's very open concept. So where I could, I did a lot of open shelving because I like to create a lot of little, you know, decorating vignettes and things like that. And I am so looking forward to getting unpacked so I can start the fun stuff and decorating. Um, and once again, I want to say a very special shout out to my good friends, um, Tracy and uh, Judy, and because they're the ones that stitched the whole series for me. And um, uh, they're great sports because I wish I could keep them busier all year long and all the time. Um, it's typically, I think now they know, like come late December, January, February, I'm always panicked. Can you do one more? Can you do one more? And you know what? They always do and they stitch so beautifully. So, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, I get some, I get to spend some time with them in, um, in Tulsa in, um, in July. So looking forward to that. So laundry company is out. That's partly why I'm coming to you from my laundry room. It echoes in here a little bit. <laughs> um, but I also just took, released the next three in the white Christmas ornaments. Um, starting to see some people stitching that out um, on social media pages. Um, please hashtag white Christmas, hashtag me hands on design. Um, I, I love to see it and I love to see how you're doing. Um, uh, Priscilla is stitching them and she had let me know that she wanted to stitch them. And um, she's gonna, she goes, well, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna add a little red. I'm like, well, no, I don't mind. I told people right away, there, there were, were no red, was no red in the charts. So I'm excited to see. And I think she posted a picture. She started with Tree Farm and I think she put a little red in the barn. So speaking of Priscilla, um, before I go on to the white Christmas ornaments, super fun. Um, between my last video and, well, moving, uh, this last month has been crazy. Um, I actually was in Lamont, Illinois, an inspired needle, what, three weeks ago now, two weeks ago? I don't know, time is, it's a, it's a blend. Um, so uh, I taught there with my friend Beth from Summer House Stitchworks. We did a sweet little piece um, and had a great gathering of ladies. Everybody was just, you know, everybody, most, I would say most people came with their homework done, a ton of people left with their projects finished. Kathy puts on one heck of a retreat. Oh my gosh, it was at this great hotel. She had lots of, whoo, the nice little things you get from, you know, little, her little gifties and whatnot. I just, you know, she does a very nice job. Um, but she had a meet and greet at the shop on Friday night and um, Priscilla lives, I think she said it was like about an hour and a half north of the shop. And you know, you know, and I think we've said most, people know Priscilla and I had never met and um, we pretty much have done everything uh, phone calls emails texting messaging you know that kind of thing and um, so I wasn't sure it was gonna happen so I didn't really say anything because you never know what you know things happen at the last minute and um, but they came down they made she and Chelsea made the trip down and um, they kind of stopped at shops all along the way. Um, I think they, they started the day at Tomorrow's Heirlooms. They hit a couple Goodwills and some thrift shops. Um, I haven't seen everything they've gotten yet from that trip. And then they ended up at um, Inspired Needle for the for the meet and greet. And let me tell you, it was it was so much fun. It was I was standing like you know putting my um, trunk show all together. We were kind of hurried. We we had spent a little too much time at dinner having fun and talking and we needed to get back to the to the shop and um so uh i could hear their voices from around the corner and it was just so funny it was just like 
I, I it's it's just like I always knew them. So um, uh, it was really super. They're so very nice, um, exactly like I thought they would be, except um, maybe shorter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not that tall. I'm five seven, probably getting shorter all the time. Um, and it was just kind of funny because I felt like, hi. <laughs> anyway, lots of fun. Um, we got to catch up on some stitches. I had actually just um, uh, sent her the files for the new um, Chalk on the Farm. And I have to be careful. I don't want to tell you the name of it. Um, it comes out next month. And um, I didn't know, I hadn't had a chance to catch up on their video. So um, I, somebody emailed me and said, what's the new farm called? <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> well, because then I guess they're having a contest. So um, you're not gonna hear it from me what the new one is. Um, but anyway, so super excited about it. Uh, we, Priscilla and I have been sending pictures back and forth. We actually got to pick the colors out, but we're, mm, we had a few days where it was like, I don't know, do you like it? Do you not? Blah, blah, blah. You know, cause colors st stitch out much differently on darker linen than they do on lighter linen. And then, uh, you know, anyway, so I think we're going in the right direction now. So, um, I'm very excited about that, but so I was also equally excited to actually finally meet her. Um, and, and, uh. And, and it's also kind of heartening when you meet somebody that you have known, so to speak, um, and, and they're exactly like you thought they would be. Just, it was so, you know, easy to talk to and laugh with and, you know, and um, I don't know, it was just kind of, it was, it was pretty cool. So anyway, so let me get back to um, white Christmas a celebration of the quiet colors. Uh, it was kind of funny because the day after we moved into the new house, um, <laughs> we had a blizzard <laughs> and a few people had said, Oh yeah, we're going to come help you unpack. Da, 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 da. Nobody could come because the roads <laughs> were impassable and out here, it's very windy out here anyway. And, um, and the wind howls and it just howls. And, you know, I had been talking the whole time about how my white Christmas ornaments were inspired by the colors out here. Just it's very quiet, very peaceful, the quiet colors. And, and my husband, ever the dry wit humor guy that he is, the wind was howling so badly. It was so noisy out here. The, I mean, the rafters were shaking. The, it just was like, what have we done? Where have we moved? Colors aren't that quiet. <laughs> so anyway, maybe you had to be there. I don't know. <laughs> it was funny to me. So so anyway, the celebration of the quiet colors continues with the next three um, uh, white Christmas ornaments. Um, the first one, okay, the last three, Tree Farm, Cut and Carry, and Zinc House Row, little zinc houses, um, kind of were all about the tree. This time they're all about the houses. Um, it's specifically kind of what I call the putts. Well, they're not called their putts houses. Um, and I've been doing a little bit of research on them because I grew up having them, you know, my parent, my mom decorated with them. Um, you know, kind of getting to understand the history behind them. And it's, it's really super interesting. I don't want to misquote anything here because I've just kind of been, you know, getting to know a little bit more about the, um, um, about the, the history of them. So uh, much like the shiny brights, because I'm also a big collector of shiny brights too. So you never know where those might pop up. But anyway, so the first one is Noel. I just, I'm Noel number one, just because I just, I love the saying, I love the word Noel. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of goofy. But I like, I always love to decorate a mantle. You guys know that if you've seen some of my other videos this year, you know, I did the 12. The mantle is the one thing I change up every year. Um, well, everything's a little different, but um, the mantle definitely changes theme every year. Last year it was the 12 days. This year it's probably going to be white Christmas. And um, I've been in the market kind of hunting down some some vintage um, putts houses. You can get new ones um, and they're very pretty. Typically they're, you know, they're pastel colors. Sometimes the roof has a little sparkle to it. Um, but yep, yeah, there's my, my, 
my mantle decorated with the pretty little putts houses. So that's Noel. So that's kind of an honor to my to my mantle and to my love of the little putts houses. So continuing on with the house theme, we have Luminaria Lane. Now this is probably the biggest of all the ornaments, just, you know, kind of give you some idea. Um, but, and you know, and I know the ornaments are all different sizes. I like them that way. All the ornaments on my tree are different sizes. Um, and that was never really the focus on this set of ornaments. The focus was on the colors, the colors and the themes. Um, and, and just, I guess that's a plug for as well. The templates are located on my website, go under tutorials. And if you want to use my templates, um, when stitched with 32 count. So anyway, Luminaria Lane, the story behind this one, can you see all the little pretty Luminaria on the, on the lane on both sides? Okay, so I know I've talked about how I grew up in um, the Pittsburgh area. I grew up in, actually, we, we went, we lived in Penn Hills. Um, and I grew up on Evergreen Drive. And when we would drive to church, we would have to go up Jefferson. And then we always hung a right at Key Drive. And Key Drive, Pittsburgh is very hilly. Um, and Key Drive is one of those where you start at the top like this. And you, it's like riding a roller coaster. You go out. And then all of a sudden the road just goes boop. <laughs> and in winter time, it could be a little scary to get up and to get down. Um, I might, in fact, I was talking to my sister um, uh, earlier this week and, and we were talking about this and I said, do you remember that? Do you remember that? She goes, well, I remember the road. Um, Cause we were talking about the Luminaria and she remembered too that um, they would do this. So on Christmas Eve, when we're going to church service, um, we would go up Jefferson, turn right on Luminaria, and as we headed down, every house lined their walkway and up to their house with Luminaria. So it was dark outside. It was just, it was so pretty. And that, it, it was just, you know, a memory that I had. And so that's why Luminaria Lane. Okay. And again, all the same colors. These are all with classic color works. Um, mine are all stitched on 32 count straw from Weeks Dye Works. Um, I finally have the wool felt ball, balls back in stock, um, and then the finishing kit. So anybody that, any shop that had their finishing kit back ordered, it is now on its way to them. So if you were waiting on one, um, it should be coming your way very soon. So the last one, the third one is called Christmas Eve. Um, now I'd like to say that that's what my church looked like. It did not. <laughs> I don't think our, I'm trying to remember, I don't know that our church had a steeple like that. Um, but what really kind of struck me about this church, um, Christmas Eve services were always kind of dear to me, well, for obvious reasons. But um, my, I, I played the guitar and I sang. My oldest sister um, played the flute. My, our middle sister also sang. And um, many years we would be participating in the Christmas Eve services, either singing or playing or something like that, um, doing prelude music. And um, I just always remember we got to, it was the one time we got to sit up in the balcony as we were a little bit older. And um, by that time they had pretty much stopped. But the, the church, the, 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 the roof, the ceiling, probably at the highest pitch, I don't know. I don't know how tall it was, but I'd say it was a good 25 feet, maybe even higher. I mean, it was a tall, tall structure. And there was always a family, um, when, especially when I was little, that would donate a tree. And the tree, while it didn't go to the roof, it went pretty darn close. So that was a big tree. I think they had to stop it because, well, it probably either got too expensive or it was a lot of work to bring that big tree in. You know, think, okay, in terms of being a little kid, it was my version of the Rockefeller <laughs> Christmas tree, you know, the, or the tree at Rockefeller Center. Um, so it was pretty darn big, but covered in lights, covered in ornaments. And, and so, you know, that's, that's kind of why the, the trees happened around the church. And I don't know, I just, I thought it was, it just evoked a very peaceful feeling. And, um, and I love the cake stand. You know, I own several cake stands. I don't know that I've ever made a cake on them. <laughs> but I decorate on them all the time. <laughs> um, so that was just kind of, you know, it just brought a whole bunch of really feel good moments 
um, together for me. So that's why that one, and this one is called Christmas Eve, and that's also why it's called that. So um, that I would show you these with the, the first three ornaments, but those are off in a trunk show on their way to celebrations in up in Nashua, which I think is in a, uh, a week, something like that. So lots of classes going on. Anyway, so there's, there's your first, that's your second set of three ornaments. The last set will come out in um, early June. So all of this is on its way to, to shops right now. If your shop doesn't order straight from me, but orders rather through my distributors, it'll be about another week or so before they get them. Um, we've got a busy couple, oh, couple months coming up. Um, let's see what's next. Um, my next trip, we will be going to, um, special Olympics with Billy, um, for state special Olympics. Um, that's the, the, the uh, spring games and it's kind of the, the send off to the national games. And then after that we come home and I'm going to Holland. Um, and everybody goes Holland, Michigan. No, I'm like Holland, like the country. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go teach there at the Handwork Boutique, um, um, with Miss Anamique and, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm brushing up. I, I've been watching all kinds of little YouTube videos, learning a few Dutch sayings. Um, yeah, I got a way to go. <laughs> so it's a busy summer. Um, I've got lots of new releases coming up. Um, the, the new chalk on the farm is of course next month. That's the next big thing. And, um, and lots coming after that. So I'm super excited. I'm very happy to be coming at you from the new location. So thank you for indulging me in my laundry room <laughs> just a little bit. And um, so hopefully wherever your laundry room is, because we were talking about that. I've had laundry rooms in the basement. I've had laundry rooms in the kitchen. I've had laundry rooms in the garage. <laughs> I've had, you know, the community laundry room. <laughs> um, so this is my by far the nicest laundry room I ever had. Um, so, you know, if you got to do it, it might as well be fun. And so even if it is in your basement, why not decorate your little area with, with something kind of fun? So uh, one more to go in this series. It's I can't wait for you to see this one. It's a it's a saying that I have wanted to design a, a piece around for years. It, it just makes me giggle. So, well, they all make me giggle. But, um, but anyway, so I've got to get back to work and believe it or not, I have to do some laundry. <laughs> anyway, so um, thanks for spending some time with me and um, we'll see how long this takes to upload. Our internet is a little slow around here, so we'll see. But in the meantime, enjoy the stitch and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.